guys, I just wanted to quick uh, go over this neat tool that I downloaded for um, Mac OS. Now, in the past, I'd normally just been using the du command because I'm used to that from, you know, years of Linux and Unix administration. And it works well enough just using the du command on the command line. But uh, th this is actually a whole lot more convenient to just to visualize how things are broken up. It's just it there's a lot more you get just being able to visualize it so um yeah this this uh and it's a free tool um they do have a thing you can click on here get pro to organize files so you you're gonna have to i assume have to pay for that i don't need that to organize my files because i like to kind of keep tight control over how i manage my files like i i'm always moving stuff off onto my nas and onto my external drives and stuff so i'm keeping careful control over my files Really, I just need this to show me what's where, and then I'll, I'll organize them myself. But uh, yeah, this is a terrifically convenient tool. Notice I have like, uh, and uh, yeah, I have a bunch of other, this is like my local disk. When I, I bought this MacBook Pro, the guy told me I didn't really need that much storage, and I, I really don't. Um, so I basically got the lower end CPU and the lower end storage. I kind of regret both of those things, but even, even though I am always moving stuff off onto external disks into my NAS, like, um, it's still kind of a pain because I always have to shuffle things around. It gets, it gets used up pretty quick, which I'll show you in just a sec inside this thing. But, uh, notice here I have my internal drive, only 500 gigs. Um, even though I'm moving stuff off of it all the time, it fills up fast. I have this uh, nice external SSD, which performs really nice, but it's just kind of a pain having an extra drive hanging off my MacBook when I want to carry it around with me or throw it in my backpack. I don't want to unmount the disk and close my apps that are using the disk all the time, but uh, that works. So I have a couple external drives on here. One of them is a nice SSD that's really nice and fast, great for editing videos directly off the SSD. Got my NAS mounted here. It's a Samba share. But uh, yeah, anyways, this is my drive. You can see how it's split up. Most of the stuff is under users. So you can see there's a few other system things like applications installed. That's 30 gigs, but you know, out of uh, 500 gigs, it's not that much. And you can see how things break down and stuff. Um, library, applications, stuff like that, right? Now under users, 406 gigs, and that's all under one user, user one, that's my username. And I can see here, pictures. Just my pictures synced down from iCloud are taking up that much space. So if I just let them sync back up to iCloud, um, I could clear up 139 gigs just like that. And I, I don't need all of them synced down. I, I assume most of those are probably videos that I need to clear off of there. Anything that's a video I'm clearing off of there and throwing on my NAS anyways. But uh, yeah, that, that's what's there. So yeah, this is my photos library from the photos app. It's just caching it on the local system. Doesn't need to be there, right? In any case... So that's just like temporarily using it. It doesn't need to be there. I'm going to move that stuff off. It, some of it's just going to be exported and deleted, and some of it's going to just stay on iCloud and doesn't need to be on my local system one way or another. So uh, downloads, I have like Linux ISOs and stuff on here. So I can clear out anything in my downloads directory, move it onto my NAS. I'm probably going to do that real soon too. But see here, like for example, a SUSE Linux ISO, 25 gig ISO. Um, yeah, definitely don't need that. I'm going to throw that on my NAS and I've, and upload it to Proxmox. But yeah, so another SUSE ISO and some other things like some video files, some ISOs and other random things here, all taking up my downloads directory. Over here, you can see videos, just some of the videos I've been working on. You can see the types of videos for this channel. See this Gen 2 install video is using up like what, 13 gigs? Um, but uh, yeah, there's my videos directory, 56 gigs of videos that I'm basically, all of that stuff is getting exported off onto my external drive. Um, my desktop, I somehow have 46 gigs of stuff on my desktop. That's going to need to be sorted out. It's pretty messy right now. Periodically, I like to go through and just clean stuff up. Library. Now, there's a bunch of stuff that just mysteriously gets cached inside library and I have to go and put that down. the so library is a pain I always have to go and poke around in there and, and search for what's being what's being cached or whatever that's that's always just it's, you know it's basically owned by the system but thankfully it's only 25 gigs so it's not too much stuff to to yeah it is a pain to deal with I, I think it's a pain to deal with but um it's supposed to be all hidden and, and hidden away from you but uh yeah thankfully it's only 25 gigs but still it's it's enough that I want to clear it out Oh, yeah, movies, yeah, movies, it's 
four gigs that that should not be using this is basically that's that's not my video files that's just stuff that happened to get cached by the apple movies app that i don't even use just every time i try to view one of my own videos instead of opening it up in quicktime or vlc by default it opens up in movies no matter how many times i tell it not to they just want to push that i can understand for like streaming movies from apple tv or whatever but um yes it's the apple tv app and and basically they just want you to use that for anything that's a video, which is just a huge pain. I could understand using it for what it's meant for, but um, you really don't need to be using it just to watch any video file on your system. So that's a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, just a bunch of Final Cut Pro stuff and other random things here. But yeah, it's, it gives you a great overview, plus it looks kind of neat, great colors. It looks all, yeah, it's a nice look. A lot of the apps have the same look, but... Uh, a lot, lot of apps out there use the same uh, layout and this, this nice circular thing here. Um, looks nice and it's real convenient to show you the breakdown and how everything is split out um, on each different layer. It'll show you this directory, this directory, what's in each subdirectory and how they're all broken out. So just the way it visualizes it is pretty nice. It's convenient and I have no need to get the, it's free and I have no need to get the pro version. It's not nagging me with ads or anything. So I'm pretty happy with it myself. This is what it looks like on the App Store. So they give you some previews of it. You see um, only 150 ratings. It's got four out of four stars. So pretty good rating here. Um, yeah, this is, I, I actually downloaded this a, a long while ago. And then I had to, I just searched for it for this video. I just typed in the search here and uh, brought this up just so I could show you this on this video. But I actually downloaded this a long while ago. Um, I had downloaded this probably, you know, a month or two ago and didn't bother to use it that much and um, just went to clean up my system out and I, and I realized um, I downloaded this and figured I'd give it a shot and actually put it to use. And uh, yeah, so that's that's basically it. Just wanted to quick share that with you guys today. Hope somebody finds this useful. Um, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on that next video. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have other preferred apps that you use. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video.